I think one of the important things about the current climate for uh, research, clinical care, and the development of treatments for Sjogren's syndrome is that there's been a major paradigm shift in the recent past, in the last 20 years, about the approach to these issues in Sjogren's syndrome. And for that reason, I think that Sjogren's patients can be very optimistic about the future. The Sjogren's Syndrome Foundation was founded in 1983 uh, by a patient, Elaine Harris, on Long Island, New York, uh, for patients, really, to help them find other patients uh, they could network with to learn more about the disease. Volunteers and staff of the Sjogren's Syndrome Foundation continue to educate patients and their families, increase awareness for Sjogren's, and encourage research into what causes Sjogren's, which will hopefully lead to a cure. I think one of the best resources for patients is to find another patient that has the disease, not only so they can learn from their experiences, but also network that with them to find a physician that is knowledgeable about the disease. The Sjogren's Syndrome Foundation uh, organizes 87 support groups around the United States. You can find them in almost every major city in the U.S. Uh, where patients come together either on a monthly or quarterly basis to share their experiences with the disease, hear from educated professionals about the disease, um, or just network with each other. You can learn more about the Foundation's support groups and their three educational conferences for patients by visiting their website. While there, you'll also find tips about living with Sjogren's, downloadable patient fact sheets, and other resources that will help you as you learn more about your disease. Visit www.sjogrens.org or call 1-800-475-6473.